What's up everybody? Sorry it took me so long to make this video. The making all of these polyhaven textures actually took me quite a bit longer than I thought it was going to. I think there was 230 of them and I actually made a target map for every single one of them and I had to do some additional uh, fixing up just some of the normal maps because a lot of them were in EXR format which doesn't work with Lumion so I had to make my own in some cases. But all of the textures that you saw at the beginning of the video are now going to be inside of Lumion and like the iMesh videos, I have them all set up in the drive so that if you download the file, and I'll show you it in a moment here. So if you go to the link below the video, it's the Lumis Labs video 151 Polyhaven 1. So you should just see a folder called materials. You wanna right click that and you wanna download it here. The reason why is because I've actually already set it up in the same way that Lumion has its kind of internal library set up. So all you're gonna have to do is download the materials folder and you're gonna drag and drop it into the Lumion library if you wanna do it that way. That's the way that I recommend doing it at least because it is nice to have everything separated. And I know the Lumion devs don't like it when I do this too much. So I've actually labeled all of the materials that I'm gonna be giving you today as LLPH, so just Luminous Labs Polyhaven. Um, it's just so that you kind of know where the material is coming from because I'm not able to actually put a logo into it like Lumion's able to do. So, so yeah, if you have any problems with any of these textures, please come to me. Um, obviously, this isn't really a Lumion official update, so they will not be able to help you too much with what I was doing with it. Uh, but there are some pretty cool ones in here. The ones that I think were probably the coolest is if you go to outdoor wood, uh, there are a, fa a fair amount of wooden planks. A lot of the polyhaven textures are made for video games. So you get a lot of ground textures. You get a lot of, you know, wooden plank textures, a lot of brick textures, um, stuff that a lot of people kind of use in the games. But there are some pretty good ones in here. And I know that Lumion doesn't really have a lot of wooden planks as there is. So... I'm just going to quickly run through some of these. This one's actually a, a that's a Lumion one, but I'm going to quickly run through a few of these textures, just get you kind of a feel for what this is. And I'm going to show you how to install it. So this is just downloading right now. I think it's 10 gigabytes or so in total. So it's not a, a really small addition. And if you are kind of cramped on space, um, that's just it's kind of how it is, unfortunately, because all of these, as I said, they are 4K and they all have Targa masks on them. So they should have that little bit of extra detail. And I think this is the one, the blue painted planks. I kind of like this one. I don't know. I thought this was kind of interesting. Uh, they look pretty good though. This one's also really good too, because uh, what I thought was kind of interesting about this is you can kind of pull this all the way up and maybe, uh, you know, play around with the scale a little bit. You can get some fairly clean looking wood siding. Just kind of turn up the displacement, you know, something like that, kind of like shiplap uh, planks. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, you can just kind of play around with this as ever you need. Uh, there are some things that I guess I wanted to mention about this. I made all of the map scales one just because it was tough to go through and figure out exactly what the map scale should, like looks best for each size. So I decided to go with the standard one. Uh, I did put a little bit of weathering on all of them just to give them a little bit of an extra, a uh, little bit, a bit of an extra pop, I guess. Like the shadows always look a lot better with that. So, so that's why I decided to do that. And yeah, as I said, a lot of these are kind of like rougher materials. So you're going to get these kind of like gritty planks, um, gritty exteriors. And let me show you some of the brick textures. These are all alphabetical order, by the way. So if you did want to just pull up Polyhaven and you want to try and find the, uh, the one that you're looking for. So this is actually, I'll change this one, but I realize this is actually a bit of a mistake. That's what I mean, where you may have some that are kind of looking a little bit off. If you do come across one that is not working as intended and looks something like something's really wrong, just put a comment below the video uh, and I'll get it fixed and then I'll, I'll update it. This is kind of a uh, a work in progress because it's, uh, like I said, there, there was quite a bit of uh, an undertaking to get this, so. Okay, so once you download the materials, now, something I couldn't really fix, which is kind of annoying, but it is gonna download four different zip files. So download 7-zip or whatever you need to open up these files. And then what I do is I just open, actually, let me close a couple of these here. So you wanna open them all. And then 
you want to make a folder. Uh, actually, wait, I guess you can just drag this on your desktop or wherever. Uh, you could just drag these right in the Lumion one too, but I just want to combine them all first. So just take the materials, drag them on your desktop. It is going to take a second just to load some of them in. Uh, but you can see all of them loading in here. And as I mentioned, all of them are in alphabetical order. So if you do want to go look at Polyhaven just to kind of get a better feel for what the materials are going to look like before they're in Lumion, then I believe Concrete Floor 02 was the, the final one that I did. So how many do we have here? Just to mention it too, you are going to have to close Lumion for the materials to show up. So if you have it open, just close it down. So if you go to your desktop, to wherever you saved all of these. Now, all of the materials should be in here. And something that is important to know about this, if you have four if you have four folders and they all have the same name and all the folders are the same inside, they won't overwrite each other. They'll actually just stack inside of each other. So that's what I was doing here where I just have four different folders named materials. I drag them on my desktop and then they combine into uh, f just one folder and everything's good. So once we're at this point, I'm going to go to my C drive, program files, Lumion 11.3. It's whatever version of Lumion you have. Uh, and this is worth mentioning. You have to have 10 or 11 for this to work because if you don't have, if Lumion does not have the ability to display some maps, you get some really weird effects on it, which is something that I learned from doing the iMesh one. So if you only have Lumion uh, nine and a half or under, you're not able to do this, unfortunately. But Lumion 11.3 Architect Edition Project Materials. And then you can see here, everything's there. We don't have custom, but you can just go back to Project, go find your materials folder, wherever that was, and you just drag it into the project folder. And now it's going to say this destination has 144 files with the same names. Not a problem. Do this for all items. I had already loaded this in. You won't get this message it'll just go right in now let's open up lumion just to make sure everything's there but shouldn't be a problem okay lumion's open so let's open up an example scene okay so that's good let's go materials uh let's look at asphalt here so we have the llph asphalt 02 4k and like i said this will take a moment to load in a lot of these you probably shouldn't use like eight or nine of them in the same file because they will slow things down but I think for this, where you just need one, you know, ground texture or something like that, this is going to work really well. And a lot of these, since they're 4K, they do scale up very well. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. And the other one, I just want to quickly run through, just to make sure it's all in. So uh, you go rock, and then you know, brown mud rock 01. Let's click on that. Okay, yeah. So this one I really liked. Like I thought this one came out looking good. I actually don't like that preset, so let's just throw on realistic. And yeah, like I said, if you notice anything weird going on where like the shadows don't make any sense or it just looks like something wasn't done right with the actual uh, material, just let me know. Uh, if it, uh, I will try and make it so that when you download it, it's, it's just kind of good to go right off the bat. So yeah, if any of them are looking weird, please let me know. I am. I think that there's going to be a fair amount that I have to fix up just because since I was trying to do so many of them so quickly that I figured that I was going to run into uh, some issues with some of them, but uh, I can just go in and easily update the ones that I find have a problem. So I've actually, even just while making this video, there's a couple that I've made, put on the list, but like I said, if you come across any, please let me know in the comments and I'll fix them. 
as soon as I can. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave it there. If you found the video interesting, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I believe there's going to be three videos like these in total, so there are two more to come. This one had about 70 materials in it, and there's 230 in total. So yeah, there should be you know at least another two videos, but maybe even a third one, because I don't want there to be so much so many materials all in one video that it's just like this massive download this way i guess people can kind of see what it's, you know if they don't want to download the whole thing they can download a smaller portion of it but i'm gonna leave it there hope you have a great night everyone i'll see you in the next one take it easy